SVG's Jason Dackman, we are here at the Sports Content Management Forum in New York City, and I'm here with two reps from Riot Games, and uh, let's be honest, it doesn't get much cooler than Riot when it comes to technology. Erica Duffy uh, and Ian Owen, um, we're here to talk about more specifically media management, but let's talk about a little in general what Riot is up to on the esports and the broadcast side of things. You guys have a massive project previously known as Striker, uh, that, that now has a more official name, and over the last couple of years you developed. Can you tell us a little bit about the remote broadcast centers and how that's impacted the media management world? Sure, so I'm lucky enough to be based in a remote broadcasting center in Dublin, Ireland, uh, and how that's transformed both Riot's workflows and media management is, it's brought a production from anywhere in the world to a centralized point, uh, in this case Dublin, Ireland, but equally could be Seattle. In fact, next week we're kicking off with uh, Champions Valorant, which is happening in Seoul, Korea, but being produced entirely out of Seattle. Uh, what that has brought for us challenges and also benefits is figuring out how we can record and distribute the myriad of content both on site and in the remote broadcast center to our centralized media asset management system. It's really impressive and, and again there's one right now in Dublin and, and one in Seattle. The Seattle one is really starting to, to cook. Um, one of the other cool things that, that you guys have been working on uh, is you know some interesting highlight workflows again the glory of esports is it's all data you don't have to be you know dealing with those uh, annoying players and humans and stuff like that so tell us about some of the highlights workflows that you guys are working on we have players and humans uh, but uh, I won't say annoying but uh, no we, we definitely work with that well, Erica said it really well in the first panel of the day uh, Jason is like we have this digital advantage where everything we do is already part of this digital world it's all in computer so we are able to pull a lot of information, really useful metadata, without anybody having to tag it. And we use that to create time-based metadata. Um, we can put on our timelines within the player. Uh, oh, hey, here's where a kill happened. Here's where a unique kill happened. Like, oh, a, a double kill, you know, quadra kill. I'll, I'll save everybody from all the terminology. But we're able to pull all of that and use it to create things that we couldn't create otherwise. And one of the great things we're really excited about is being able to make an auto highlight what we call the story bot. And it, anybody can go in. It's not just me, Erica, or one of our media management team. We have opened the door because it's pretty hard to break something from there. I'm sure we'll find a way, but we've opened the door to all kinds of editors, producers, content creators within Riot to say, hey, come on in and you use metadata. You say, I want plays from player X and I want to see every time that player X killed so-and-so or, again, trying to stay away from using too much terminology. Anytime I want to see player X did Y, and I want it to give me all those highlights and keep it in a minute. Right. And bam, like, there it is, right for them. We don't have to go pull the content, which we're very happy about, and they don't have to, like, interact and worry about, oh, wait, do, is there this? They just go make it. And if it's there, it's there. And it gives them a easily publishable, digestible little piece of highlight that oh, they're off and running. They can post it to their social, whatever channels they're using. And it's just really useful for our teams without, again, having to get bogged down in, oh, now they don't even have to edit it. Right. Now, some people would like to, and they can. They certainly can. But it's, it's a great tool to use for most of our social partners in particular. And especially important, you know, while these tools are out there, uh, rarely can you make them available to the masses uh, like you guys are doing, which, which isn't, uh, isn't often. So, uh, Erica, Ian, thank you guys so much for taking the time. We're having a blast here at the Sports Content Management Forum. Uh, and uh, great luck ahead. For more from the SCM Forum in New York City, check out sportsvideo.org, our YouTube channel, and SVG Play.